Hello YouTube, it's Rob from Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services based in the North East. I hope everybody's well and, and having a really good day. Today's video, I just want to do an update from the video I, I put out last week about the uh, the ride-on and uh, moving up from uh, the push walk behind lawnmower to the ride-on. And I, I shared my thoughts about what it would cost and... Uh, you know how I was going to move forward. I was just after some advice. Well, I got some advice, and thank you very much. Over two hundred and ten comments, and they weren't just comments. There were like stories. There were experiences uh, from you guys, and absolutely brilliant. Anybody who comes into this industry and they want to know about moving from a push behind lawnmower to a ride on, just read those comments, they're priceless. So thank you very much. Honestly, I was, I was touched, I was overwhelmed. And 99.9% .9 of the comments said this, don't bother. Now, they didn't just say that, they went on to explain why, which is very kind. And um, the majority of the comments were, Yes, we thought we were in a position to uh, move up. We invested. Um, we invested in either a bigger van, trailer, uh, ride on, and it wasn't worth the hassle. Um, when you take away the expense of the purchase of the uh, the kit, um, and then the, the the sort of storage, the servicing, etc., etc., it, it just a lot of people said. I often wonder why I bother and I should go back to doing £25 uh, Moblo and Goes, which has made me made me smile. But thank you. Um, other people were given advice, uh, sound advice, that uh, customers would be unhappy if um, all of a sudden you were there. Like, I have one particular customer, I'm there four hours, and uh, he, he pays well for it. But imagine if I turn up with a big ride on, and I'm in and out in two hours instead of four hours. Is he going to be happy paying the same amount of money? Will he understand that, um, yes, <laughs> my expenses have gone up, so therefore I'm paying the same, but I, I, I'm only there half the time. And it's a good point. Existing customers might not be happy to pay the, you know, they're happy to pay me a particular amount of money because I'm there four hours up and down and they feel like they're getting value for money. But will they feel like they're getting value for money if I'm only there half the time? And you're probably right. So what you're going to have is you're going to have this big piece of equipment uh, sat there waiting until new customers come. And it's what do you put first, you put the chicken or the egg. Um, and, you know, people are, are, are very, you know, I'm not going to say opinionate because that's not right. The, the, the very good at sharing their experiences. And most of them said, don't do it. Uh, stick with what you've got and especially as a one person operative business um, Going up into the ride on market is, is too challenging uh, One guy says you just have these whims and like buying shiny kit Robbie. No, I don't I, I think about things and I share it and that's why I asked for your help um, And I'm, I'm pleased I did uh, another sort of large percentage of you suggested the uh, Toro Time Master and I've had a look at that mower, I really have. And it's a 30-inch mower, twin blade, and it's about 15, 1,600 quid. But the problem is, is I'm, I'm torn because you get a small minority of people say it's brilliant, it's the best mower they've ever had. But the majority of people say it's a pain. It's big, it's clumsy. Um, it doesn't, as soon as the grass is wet, it gets clogged and it leaves loads of grass all over the place. It's perfect in ideal conditions. And as you all know, we don't have ideal conditions in the UK. This summer has been canny in the northeast. But now we're in Oct beginning of October and, and it's tough. The grass is growing, you know, really, really fast and it's soaking wet and it probably wouldn't cope. So I'm not, and the big old heavy chunks of metal. So I'm not, I'm not 100% convinced about that. But let me know what are your experiences. So what have I taken from the last week or so? And the, I tell you what I've taken is, I think this is my personal opinion. We have we undervalue ourselves, and we have a feeling that we would be better and more successful if we're. Walk, you know, riding around on big fancy tractors, and, and that's not the case. 
we should be able to hold our heads up high and recognise that we, we do a good job earning a living and uh, that, that should be enough. It's like uh, Gary said from Funky Duck Productions, people who have ride-ons or people who want to have ride-ons, and, and I put myself in that category. It's like a rite of passage, isn't it? A rite of pack, like passage, sorry. It's like we've made it, we've done a bit. And we should stop thinking like that. Um, and we should just be maybe grateful of what we are and, and what we've got. And I know that I always want to try and move forward, but, um, yeah, the, the advice I got was keep the seven grand, Keep doing what you're doing. Add a few small loans to your business uh, and, and I'm sure you'll be fine. And it's probably good advice because um, the last thing we want is a garage full of ornaments. And I've got a couple, to be honest. Um, the Scarifier, it's not earning its money. Uh, I thought it would. I've advertised with it. I've um, allowed me, I've shared the information with my current customers. I've put uh, Facebook messages uh, out on uh, groups about scarification and um, I've had very little work from it. Um, I've got a, a BCR 600 backpack blower and uh, I do half a dozen uh, leaf jobs in November and December and it, you know, you can't argue it works a treat, it's lovely. But on a day-to-day -day basis, taking a leaf blower out, your handheld blower, uh, the Husqvarna and the, the still handheld blowers are brilliant and you don't need a big backpack blower um yes it comes in handy during the leaf blowing season but um it's a a nice to have not a, a must have you know a small handheld and a fiscar rake and a pair of dalak leaf grubbers they work just as well yes you might take twice as long not twice as long maybe it's 25 percent more but um yeah what we don't want to be buying kit wasting money and it just gathering dust in the garage and um, that's something that if anybody's starting out or I, I would really seriously, you know, ask yourself before you put your hand in your pocket and buy a kit. Do I need it or am I just being a bit vain? And I think probably me with a ride on mower, uh, I was being a bit vain. I, I, I had this sort of vision that if you could buy a small ride on that four hour job would be reduced to two hours. I've got a couple of big jobs in Darris Hall I do, which are two hours a piece. They would be reduced to one hour and I could get all them done in one day and then fit another couple of day, uh, jobs on top of it. And it would be easier on the body. But in reality, I don't think that would be the case. You know, there's a, a lot more hassle to owning ride-ons than just, you know, pulling it out of the garage, sticking it on a trailer and off you go. You know, somebody could, pointed out that the servicing costs can be more than your, your own vehicle. And uh, if you take that into consideration, along with storage, along with the, the initial investment, you've got to earn a lot of money to break even and make it pay. So I think we're going to put the uh, the ride on um, business idea to bed for a little while. However, however, I had a chap who uh, gave me a ring and I'm sorry I can't really remember your name and we had a really good chat about it and he um, bought a ride on four years ago and he bought it from eBay and he tells the story that um, a guy was selling it and he put a reserve on for 2000 he clearly didn't understand how to um, work eBay and uh, nobody was buying it because it was January this chap put a two grand bid in and uh, nobody bidded higher than him, and he won the auction. The guy was gutted, but he stood by his, uh, you know, his uh, deal on eBay, and he bought this ride on for two grand. He's had it four years. He's realised it's not really working, and he sold it for more money than he than he bought. So I might keep an eye on eBay if anything comes up for pennies. Um, you know, sometimes you do get a good deal, but on the whole, I think I'm just going to. Uh, Put that idea to bed, keep my feet firmly on the ground and just keep plodding away and uh, just keep sort of trying to do what I'm doing but improve what I'm doing. And that's the walk behind mowing, the little bit of gardening work and uh, sort of leaf blowing, hedge work. And uh, just keep moving forward and keep doing what we're doing and trying to be more efficient in other ways. I hope that's understanding. But what I did want to say is thanks for all the comments. God, it's... 
it took me ages to read them all and uh, reply, but we'll, I've got there eventually. But thank you, it means a great deal. It really does. It's it's overwhelming when you think everybody takes the time to give advice and share their share their experiences, and then people watching the channel. Um, I get inf I get loads of messages saying I've been reading your comments and they've been brilliant. You know, I've learned so much. So it's it's an education in itself, isn't it? So thank you, thank you. We're now at the beginning of October, uh, and I don't know about you, but I, <clears throat> I've got loads of videos I've, I've made, but I just haven't had time to edit them. And uh, I find October busier than sort of any other month um, in the garden season, and I explain why. Um, the the rain we get horrendous rain in October in the northeast. Well, we certainly have the last four years. That's for sure. And so what it does, it, it knocks you back, doesn't it? Like today, I'm doing jobs that I should have done a couple of days ago, and then I'm trying to fit other jobs in, and then you 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 know you you're trying to squeeze everything because you're losing days through rain, and then you've got customers ringing. Um, you want everything done before the clocks go back, don't they, in November. November the 4th, I think, is bonfire night, you know. And then they just, they have this vision that you can't do any gardening work once the clocks uh, change from summertime to uh, British wintertime, which is nonsense. And they want everything done and the phone just, it's gone mad. Can you come and do this hedge? Can you come and do this garden tidy up before the winter? And everybody just wants it done. And once the clocks change from summertime to winter time, people just want to shut the door and just forget about the garden until we get to March next year, which I think is absolutely ludicrous. If we just allowed us to do a little bit more work during the winter, ticking it over and keeping it nice and tidy, it'd be far easier come the spring. But people don't think like that, do they? So I'm absolutely chocker at the minute, but uh, I'm going to get some videos put together and get them out. And also I'm going to try and do a series of five minute videos over the winter months. And these are all the questions that uh, I've been asked and been asked to do videos uh, on. Some of the subjects won't be as uh, exciting as others, but I'll try and make them um, sort of as entertaining and uh, as watchable as possible. Um, one of the, the uh, videos was, what do I do with my tax? What do I do with my national insurance? How do I work my books? Poor lads, you know, they, 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 they want to start a business, but they don't know. And, and, and that's fair enough, because I didn't have a clue when I started. But I've got loads of little subjects like that. And hopefully um, we can uh, get them done over the winter and it might make interest in viewing. Well, that's me today. I've just had a cup of tea and I'm going to crack on because I've got a busy afternoon and the weather looks like it's holding off. It was forecast for a few showers, but fingers crossed we'll have a dry afternoon because the grass is soaked and uh, any more moisture would be a bit of a pain. So thanks very much. Just to reiterate, thank you for all the comments on the ride on uh, lawnmower. It, it did blow me away and I've enjoyed reading all the comments. It's been an education in itself and... Uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. But remember, when the green gold's growing, keep mowing. And in the northeast at the moment, it is growing. It is really growing. And let's long may it continue. Take care. See you soon.